Hello my friends, welcome back to my channel Armac for All and yes, I messed it up big time with my calibration videos so far and I mean all calibration videos because I choose the wrong settings for the meter and I have to thank um, one of the uh, comments in my last uh, video what I did, uh, the uh, Dolby Vision um, Dolby Vision uh, calibration on my LGCX. So just give me a second. I show you what I mean. Where is my here? It is. And it was Master Goku 83. He just asked me why I'm using the OLED profile and not the RWV uh, XYZ profile for the meter. And I just replied according to Carmen, it's OLED. And I never tried it uh, with RAW. So the calibration looks fine to me. All good. And he was absolutely right. So thank you very much for bringing this up. He was absolutely right because after this and after I discovered a couple of yeah weird really issues and uh, whatsoever on the TV with uh, yeah greenish tones and anyway I did a lot of research. Um, I I read a lot in the AV, AVS forum and uh, the Kalman forum and whatsoever, and he is absolutely right with the I one display with this one. With the i1 Display Pro, you have to use RWV, uh, R -A -W -V, uh, XYZ for uh, the profile because otherwise it's not correct the reading and it's completely wrong. And it's not just with Kalman software, I did it also wrong with the HCFR uh, um, um, software and I can show you what I mean because with the HCFR you can use actually or choose you go to new and now you have your uh, meter property page here and uh, it was standard i think or i never changed it, it was on led oled for um, rgb so i never changed it but it has to be here wrgb oled lg v7 2017 so even we have uh, right now 2020, but the panel type never changed on the uh, LG OLED. So this is the right settings. And when I'm choosing this here, I have complete different measurements. Okay, so that's, let's say it's not the whole story, but that's a uh, long story short. So I messed it completely up. All my uploaded videos, calibration videos are really crap. So do me a favor, don't use it, set it back to um, uh, the factory settings because uh, in, the, uh, in the factory settings it's much better than my settings, really. I'm very sorry for this, I really messed it up, but I will make it up to you because I will upload all uh, my videos again uh, with uh, the proper settings and this time really proper settings, okay? And we start today with uh, the Dolby Vision. And uh, because I spent so much time on research and to really figure out how this works, so uh, the meter is still on the TV because I'm still testing uh, because next project is HDR movie calibration. And yeah, I like to do it this time very, very properly. Uh, so I, I lost a lot of time. So and I have to work doing, you know, full-time work and whatever. So it's really limited with my time. So today I did just a two-point calibration on Dolby Vision. And I, the, why just a two-point? Because it takes so long time to do the fine-tuning. Really, a two-point calibration is really done in a couple of minutes. And to verify, it's also it's it's not a big deal. The, the fine-tuning takes hours, and I'm really talking about hours. A calibration can take hours. Okay. Anyway, um, I like to show you something. So that's the calibration from today. And the only thing what I really don't like is again the gamma. So it's again set to uh, Gamma 2.2 in Dolby Vision. Uh, and you can see uh, after uh, IRE 20 to 70, it's a little bit too dark, the Gamma. Uh, it's it's better than too bright, to be honest, but it's still not perfect. It's it's supposed to be on the line, okay? But it's 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 not, not a big problem because um, the RGB level in uh, the two-point calibration and just we really have just a two-point calibration it's already that good it's really okay okay and I'd like to show you the um, results where is it just give me a second that's here that's are the settings and um, you know as always we skip this part with all the light and whatever because there's nothing new this is the important part white 
balance two point calibration. Collar temperature warm stays and you see it's very close to actually the standard of factory settings to the TV. You, you know, if you if you don't change anything on the TV, you just use Dolby Vision in the cinema user mode, it's very good already. And uh, as you can see, uh, there's nothing changed on a white balance 10 point because it's just a time, okay? A time thing. Uh, I will do a lot of videos on the weekend, okay? Uh, upload uh, for sure HDR gaming mode and HDR movie and I do the expert um, dark mode again. Okay, this is, I think, have I, did I forgot anything? No, no, nothing. Um, as always, I put the results in the uh, end of the video. I, again, I apologize for, for my mistake. Uh, thank you very much again, Master Goku 83. Master Goku 83, yeah, perfect. Thank you very much, really. That's why I like comments, you know what I mean? Because I'm still learning, you know, um, you know, as always, uh, and I'm very appreciate these comments to be honest so even you call me an idiot or whatever doesn't matter i can still learn from this i will block you after this but doesn't matter uh anyway thank you very much uh for watching me please subscribe to my channel please help me grow uh this channel and yeah if you like it please leave a comment as well try the new settings forget all the other settings so uh, just do a factory reset and uh, not, not a factory reset but reset the settings on dolby vision cinema user uh, yeah, set it to zero and try it with this just this two point calibration and give me a comment what you think. Okay, I'll see you soon in another calibration video. Bye.